We continue to talk about the influence of Christianity on medieval Europe. The Roman Catholic Church brought order to a loose collection of Germanic states in Europe. It fit well into the feudal system that was the government of choice of most of the kingdoms. The church would provide feasts, social gatherings, education, hope for a better life, checks and balances of morality against the unchecked power of rulers, charity, and a sense of community in the absence of Rome. The church would provide a bank for the rich and solace for the poor. Much of the religious growth led to an explosion of religious orders and monasteries. One group was the Benedictine monks, who lived by the Benedictine code to practice their faith without materialism. Another were the Franciscans, who modeled their simple faith of love, joy, and rejection of wealth on their founder, St. Francis of Assisi. Women also found a home among the spiritual leadership of the church. Many women from the upper class left their lives of wealth and privilege to become nuns or composers in convents. Some women were instructed by their families to become nuns. Missionaries traveled the world attempting to spread the faith of loving your neighbor. Universities taught theology classes to study religion, and Thomas Aquinas attempted to reconcile Aristotle and the Bible with scholasticism to show science and faith could exist together. Much of the work of church scholars was in preserving the historic works of the classical age from getting lost. Scribes would spend lifetimes copying and recopying the great books of the past, much of which had first been preserved by Islamic scholars. In the long term, the church's role in maintaining order and promoting learning inspired beautiful art, writing, and architecture. Europe's great artists used their talents to glorify God, which can still be seen in the massive Gothic and Romanesque cathedrals that rise above European cities, like Notre Dame in Paris. 